Well, my friends, the weekend is finally here, and I originally had plans to come outside today and mow my grass, which desperately needs done. But unfortunately, the rain has found us once again on another weekend, and it's been coming down on and off all day today. It's sprinkling right now, so I decided that I'm gonna have to find something to do, preferably indoors. Before I get into this project, I just want to start this by saying I know that we're on this 100 day journey together and we've already made it through 18 days. And of those days, there's already been two painting days. And you're probably going to hate me for this, but today is also going to be another painting day. And I apologize for that. I know you didn't subscribe to a painting channel, but you did subscribe to a channel about my life. And this just so happens to be a rainy day outside and I have some painting to do. Now that pretty much everyone has clicked off of this video and unsubscribed from my channel, if you're still left, you're probably wondering, Greg, what the heck could you possibly be painting? now. Well, I have this coat rack thing here. And uh, this coat rack, while it does look nice right there, it wasn't always in this spot. It was right over here. And if you look not so closely, you can see that I had to do some patching in the wall here. In fact, I still need to sand it. And I left a bunch of black marks on the wall there. And in addition to that, I've got some other spots here. Uh, when we were taking the tape off the wall, it kind of ripped some paint off. So I ended up putting some more spackle on this. I need to sand that down and paint that. And then down here, there was a spot that got a little rough. So I need to paint that. If you're curious about my family room down here, this used to be my bedroom. And it went through uh, some various colors. It started out with this neon green, which was, uh, that was during my crazy phase. And uh, then it, uh, I kind of got sick of that fairly quickly, as you notice with most of my painting. And we kind of went into this blue color, which I thought was cool, but the whole room got really dark. So now I'm doing this color, it's called Blizzard Fog. And I think it looks pretty nice. I just have to do a little bit of touch-ups here and there. And uh, I shouldn't have to ever paint in here again. And unfortunately, that's not the only spots that I need to do. I also need to do over here. When they were rolling this carpet out, I think it came out as one big chunk and uh, ended up, they ended up hitting my wall. You can see how much paint came off. This wasn't for my paint job. This was something that they did. So there's a lot of blue poking through there. So I need to get this corner pretty good. And that goes all the way up here beside the thermostat. It's starting to get a little cooler in here. I've never have used the heat so far this year down here, but it's 68. So it's a little, it's getting a little chillier, but still pretty comfortable. And I think there's some other random spots down here too that I probably need to hit. And I will eventually find them all. I also need to touch up down here too. That's again where they were rolling the carpet out that way and it hit the wall. So I'm gonna have to touch that bottom part up. Let me get all this stuff out of the way, just in case I get any paint or when I'm sanding, I don't want it to get all over these clothes. So I'm gonna get these out of the way. And the shoe rack, I should be able to move fairly easily. This shoe rack in a future video isn't going to exist anymore. There's a hint. When I sand, I like to use these blocks. I feel like they work really well. Just kind of go over that. This is the roughest, so you can see all the dust coming off that. That's why I wanted to move those shoes out of the way. Cool idea, just get that nice and smooth. It doesn't have to be too picky about it. Like that's that's pretty much done, but I have some smoother brushes, so I'll just go over that too. You can see some of the green starting to come through a little bit. Ooh, that's a lot of dust. All right, I'm saying that is good. And I'll probably take a wet cloth to that before I actually paint it just to get all the dust. Same thing over here. I decided instead of using a wet rag, I'd use a dry one. That way I don't have to wait to paint. This should still get all the dust off of here. Thankfully, the only taping that I need to do is right up here. So that's not too bad. Actually, I take that back. I did a little more taping under the coat rack because as I was putting this up, it kind of drug on the wall and made a little bit of a mess there. So I might as well touch that up while I'm doing this too. Now it's time for the fun part, which is the paint. Ooh, it looks like a pretty blue color. I've decided since this is a fairly small job, I'm just gonna reuse the same paint tray that I used for the utility room. All that paint's dried on there and I just really kinda need these ridges to get the paint off the ruler. I'm not gonna go too crazy with this because I don't think I'm really gonna need much paint. Roll on my paint awkwardly so you can see it.
I like it. This spot here is a little more complicated. This was an issue when I think they did the wall. You can still see kind of like some marks and things there. I'm not overly concerned about that. I just don't want any neon green or blue coming through. Next I'll hit this big old nasty spot and erase that black mark. We can go a little wide on this. It's not a big deal. It's the same color so you won't even be able to tell at all when it dries, which I like. And that's the nice thing about walls is that nothing's permanent. You can put a hole in this wall, you can do anything, and uh, it can be erased just like that. Next I'll hit these little spots that you probably can't even see. The problem wall is back to looking good, so while that dries, I'll go hit some of those other small spots. It's not the best tool for the job, but for this corner right here, I'm just gonna do one of these little things. I think that works just fine. Everybody's into PlayStation 3. Here's my collection. Whole tower of them here. And as we go up, here is this little spot. Try to not get too close to that. Okay. Hey, there's a little scuff. Gone. Great, now I got so much paint on there, I gotta paint like this whole wall. Did notice a spot over here by the elliptical. I think we must have banged something off the wall or did something, so erase that. And erase that. And erase that. Oh, must, something must have really happened over here. There's a crazy line going right down through here. Not anymore. I found another little spot under this window that I need to hit. And if you want to see how careless I used to be when I painted, Take a look at that neon green line that goes across this windowsill. Not my best work right there. I just did a quick walk around to the family room and I am satisfied there is gonna be no more painting down here. And I know I made this promise to you before, but I'm gonna make it again. In the next 100 days of these videos, there will be no more painting videos. I can promise you that because I can only think of one more thing that I wanna paint and that's not gonna be until spring. So you won't see it in the next 100 days. I'm gonna go see what's going on with dinner here. It's getting kinda late and about that time. How about the girl? I don't know what setting to put it on. You have it on pretty high right now. I usually put it like right about there. See, this is preheat, so that gets it really hot. Oh, and this is low. That's side. that's low. That's high. Oh, jeez, I would have had it like all the way down. Yeah, um, they'll still be good. Maybe I should just stick them in the oven so they don't get charred more. No, let's just let's just turn it down and they'll be okay. Oh, we'll just rip the skin off. That'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> It's what's on the inside that counts. <laughs> Yummy.